Here's another The Code video. If you haven't played the map yet, check it out, it's pretty cool. But as always, you'll probably watch this video anyway, so here we go! So I made a little time machine here, and all kinds of stuff will happen. A tree will grow, you'll see the room crumble away, you'll also see some fancy particles flying around, and the clocks are spinning around. But how did I do this? We'll start with a simple clock that tests if all the players that are online are in the room. Because we only want to start when everybody is in the room, not just one person. Using this command, you can test if people are outside of this radius instead of inside like you usually use. Now we'll invert that signal using a redstone torch that will set off this chain of command blocks. So when there's no one outside of the room, which means that everybody is inside the room, this redstone torch will turn on. First things first. This command block will create a redstone block over here that turns on this clock. This command block will add 1500 to the time. That will make these clocks rotate as if the time is passing really fast. And these command blocks will summon slimes with size set to minus 1. Since the health of a slime depends on its size, it will die immediately. And you won't even see a slime because the slime is infinitely small. This creates some neat looking particles. Check out Square Dude. He came up with this technique first. Now those spinning particle thingies. These command blocks set these blocks to a spawner, spawning a minecart with a custom block. So you have these minecarts with custom blocks in it, and you can even give them a custom offset. But when you look too far away from the minecart, they disappear. When you put them in a spawner, however, they will always be visible, and they're also rotating. But again, I did not come up with this. Check out Hi Fox and Adam over here who originally invented this thing. To create one of these spawners, use this command. You can change this to make the block appear higher or lower, and you can change this to make the block rotate faster or slower. The bigger the number, the slower the minecart rotates. And these, of course, are the coordinates of the spawner. Now let's have a look at the growing tree. That's what this long chain is for. Let me show you the process of making an animation like this. So what I basically do, I go to the position where I want to place a block, so let's say I want to place a wood block right over here. Then I'll use slash spawn point to see my coordinates, then I'll create the set block command. So type slash set block, those coordinates we just saw, and any block ID, I'll use one. As you can see, the block is now stone, but in this case we want wood. So let me go into my inventory, and when I hover over this wood block, you'll see 17 slash 3. If you can't see this, press F3 and H when you're not in the inventory. Now we'll go back to that command. Use the up arrow key to get to the command we just entered. And now we'll change the 1 into 17 space 3. Now, as you can see, you place the wood block over there. Now let's copy this command and put it in a command block, place some repeaters and start with the next block. So now you have a general idea of how I make animations using set block. I also use some falling sand blocks. So let me show you real quick here how I did that. Let's say I want to make this block fall. Fly underneath it, use slash spawn point again, and then we'll say slash summon falling sand, those coordinates, and now you see that the falling block is spawned where my feet were. So we'll increase the y coordinate by two blocks. Now all we have to do is change the block ID. So add two curly brackets and put tile ID colon inside it. Let's have a look at my inventory. Quartz has ID 155, so we'll add block ID 155. And there we go, it falls. Just in case you want to make colored wool fall or any block with the data value, add data, colon, and the data value. And that's the end of the video. Right? Is this the end? Yeah, this is the end of the video. Alright. What? what? Oh. Okay. Oh, thanks for watching. Yeah, that's okay. So.